Well, I'm fueling up. I got a long ride to go. Langley Air Force Base to sharpen a commercial paper cutter blade. Look at that price of gas today. 211. Can you believe it? Gee, me crominous. I like it. Chiquito. All right, I'll give you more information as I get there. Got all my stuff with me. Sharpeners in the back back there. All my gear. It's a it's a secure place, so I have to park outside the gate in the parking lot and put all my stuff in his car and ride into the facility with him. I've sharpened some of these blades before. If you must have followed my nights up, it's about 18 or 20 inches long, real thick, like a chisel ground blade, flat on one side, chisel ground on the other. Probably a quarter inch thick by an inch wide. I have he did send me a picture of it, so I do, basically, I just described it to you. No big deal. They want to replace, want $300 for a replacement. But he thinks he wants to get it sharpened and see how it does. Okay, that, good gracious me. Look at that truck driver right there. Another Chiquito. It'll be one of them kind of days, I guess. to the Hampton Roads Tunnel and the big Coast Guard cutter over there going out. And a big warship right there going out. And up on our right is, I showed it to you many times, Fort Bull. That's where they kept Jefferson Davis a prisoner during the Civil War. I'm here. There's a gate. U.S. Air Force. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm on my way. No cell phones, no video cameras allowed. If you go in the building, it sets off an alarm. So we weren't allowed to take anything inside. It sharpened right up. Worked okay. It was a big sucker, a manually operated paper cutter. I guess the blade was 20 inches, maybe 20, 21 inches long. We tested it, worked fine. Anyway, I got some more stuff I want to show you. While I was inside, I got a text from a guy. I may have already told you this before I was picked up, but he wants me to sharpen some machetes and some other kind of knives. I got to pick them up this afternoon. And then another lady called me. One of my return customers wants me to pick up some knives from her. So it's going to be a knife kind of day, it looks like. But I'm still going for a spin, I hope, this afternoon. Sharpen the knives tomorrow. Okay, I'll get back to you. I don't know if you can see it or not. I've been 56 miles. And I'm just about at the spot where I got to pick up the first set of knives. Lake James, it says. It's a man-made lake. I may have carried you down this road before, I'm not sure. But I've been down this road several times. There's a lake in front of us. Great, big, monstrous lake. There's houses all around the whole thing. Water, water from the property, so to speak. That's it. It's big, isn't it? Some nice houses back here. Lake James community. Stand by. We're close. Well, I got a pile of knives from her. Cut coats. I don't know how many is that. It looks like seven or eight. And one set of pruners. Cool. Cut coats. I like them. Chopping up fast. Mm, I did those for last year, she says, but I don't remember doing any cut coats for her. I should be able to tell her when I see them or when I pick them up. Stand by. We'll see what this other guy's got. I don't know if you can see them or not, but you can see there's a big machete looking thing. Some kind of big long, another knife and two, three small pocket knife and some straight bladed knives. But if he wants me to pick them up, he'll know it if you minutes. Stand by. So that's what I picked up from that fella. 
think Tex Bean said he has some knives. A big machete, New York K bar, a Raptor. I don't know much about the Raptor. He wants to take the serrations out of it. And a takedown. Made in China by a Tiger. Okay. Next on the list. A whole family of cut goes. Seven of them. Okay. We're having company at six o'clock for dinner. The tide's low at six o'clock. There's a dilemma. I'm going in about 40 minutes. As the tide drops off, I'll be home by five. I believe my plan is to be home by five. Stand by.